All right, let's consider problem number eight. We've got the, this table. It's going to show the credit card for three months, starting with an initial balance of 1200 That seems like it'll be important. We're going to show our work. We're going to round each balance to the nearest dollar. Uh, so assume that the APR for the credit card is 24%. That's APR is 24%. And the interest is based on the balance from the previous month. All right, so this, the, the interest is going to be, so this value here is going to be based on this value here. Okay, payments were, okay, so we've got a list of payments that we should fill in. And it says uh, payments for month one. Okay, no payment there, no expenses, no interest. Payments will be 200 and then 200 and then 400, it looks like. And the payments are the expenses. So we've got a month, month, month right there. Let's fill that in. So that's 100. It's going to lose us $100. It's going to cost us $100. Okay. So far, we're doing pretty good. Oh, and the initial balance was $1,200. Now, the biggest problem that we've got is we've got this APR, and it's 24%, uh, which means that we're going to have to take that APR and do a 24% divided by 12 in order to talk about each monthly interest. Uh, unfortunately for me, that's a... Uh, that's pretty quick. That's a 0 0.02. That's right, two percent interest all the way through, which means that we're going to calculate our interest. We're going to take this balance right here, and we're just going to quickly note. We're going to take this balance. It's going to tell me about the interest, uh, and so the payment. We're going to take this off of the the balance. We're going to add that on, and we're going to add that on, and we're going to add this balance to there. Does that kind of make sense? So overall, the things that are going to affect our new balance are the payment, which is going to decrease it, the expenses, which is going to increase it, and the interest that we owe, which is based on the balance from before. Okay, so let's uh, break this into smaller parts, make life a little bit easier for ourselves. Uh, so I need to do, uh, this will be 2%. So I'm going to do this in a 2% of 1,200. And if I run that in my calculator, I get that's exactly 24. Yeah, so adding everything up, I get uh, 1,200. Let's see. Do the small 1,200 minus 200 plus 100 plus 24. And overall, that gives me a value of, let's see, 1,124. Now, you want to double check that, of course. So in the same way, we're going to take 2% of 1,124. And when I run that calculation, I get uh, 22.48 when I round. Okay, so here I'm going to get, let's see, it's 1124 minus 200 from back over here at the beginning, plus 100 plus $22.48 in interest. And overall, that gives me, let's see, 1046.48. And last but not least, we've got ourselves 2% here. We're going to take that 1046.48. And when I calculate this, I get uh, 20.93. Okay. Which means that down here at the bottom, I get, let's see, it's 1046.48 okay that's probably rounded there that's minus $400 that we pay off plus $200 in expenses but we're going to also have to add on this $20.93 and overall calculator says 867. Uh, let's call it 41 and there we go those are answers